We're kind of on this rotation, Kelsey, of some sun, some thunderstorms, and then in between, just warm and muggy. I think that plays out again here tomorrow. Just a few handfuls of thunderstorms out there. Probably a lot of you don't get one. A better chance here on Monday, Memorial Day. So if you're traveling, uh, we will flag that for you. Live look outside. Everything's settling down after we had some storms collapsing as they approached the city. 87 degrees. We made it today. Much warmer this year for Memorial Day than last year. That's for sure. Even with the storms involved in the forecast. Here's what we're looking at on Sunday. You may wake up, may not be the best looking morning here in some spots with some low clouds, some areas of fog. Looks like it'll be a gray day, but that will burn off by mid to late morning. Afternoon hours, a lot of hazy sunshine out there. A few of you, and I mean a few of you, will get an isolated thunderstorm. A lot of you will not. A busier day here on Monday. We have a first alert weather day for the potential of severe weather. And here's what we're talking about. Monday's ingredients are there if it all comes together for the potential of some damaging winds, some hail, and even a few isolated tornadoes. The timing of this would be the afternoon and evening hours. It's headline number three that's really important here. It's how much sunshine do we get in the morning and midday hours? If we don't get any sunshine, this probably doesn't even come true. We'll get some heavy downpours, but we'll skip the severe weather. Let's hope that that happens here, because if we do get the sunshine, we could have a higher end severe weather day. So still some question marks, so that's why you should stay tuned to the forecast, and we'll work Monday out for you. We had a gusty line of thunderstorms move on through here. Some wind damage up in Washington County. That stayed out of our area, but some thunder, some lightning, and some heavier downpours, all that exiting stage right here tonight and we have a mostly cloudy mild night tonight temperatures barely below 70 degrees so your wake up call 7 a.m. mostly cloudy in 68 so here are those low clouds tomorrow morning when you're waking up even a spot sprinkle or two don't get too worried about it it'll all burn off you can see sunshine temperatures up to near 80 at the beaches the low clouds may put up a little bit more of a fight here so that may take till the afternoon hours to burn off but low to mid 80s across the area and then we'll pop those isolated thunderstorms after about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So you can see the sunshine burning through the clouds here at 10 a.m. 76, 81 by lunchtime, low to mid 80s here by the afternoon into the evening hours. As we go into your neighborhoods, let's check out Anne Arundel County because we'll be seeing temperatures a little bit cooler by the bay, low 80s, so rather enjoyable. Inland spots like Glen Burnie, Severn, and Odenton, you have a better shot of an isolated thunderstorm with a greater heat and humidity. Cecil County, low to mid 80s for you from Chesapeake City to north East and the rest of the area for Howard County, you'll be in the mid to upper 80s, Carroll County, mid to upper 80s, Eastern Shore Community, low to mid 80s. Beach cast, don't want to forget that here on your Sunday. It's worth a beach day if you're just taking a day trip down there. Uh, two to uh, one to two foot, of foot heights there on the ocean and water temperatures in the mid 60s. There you go on Monday, a first alert weather day. We'll continue to update it. Abigail will have the latest tomorrow morning, 81 on Tuesday, some more showers on Wednesday.